It's a 2014 Shelby GT500. And uh, nice. it's got a 5.8 motor that puts out 662 horsepower from the factory. Supercharger is 2.3 liters. It takes 150 horsepower just to spin the supercharger. Top speed on the car is 202 miles an hour. So did you make did you make any arrangements or is it all? Um, it's got a few things that are deviated from stock. A couple of Moroso parts that we got there. A couple of dress up items. We make parts for uh, Shelby America. They sell them to different Shelby owners. We put their logo on it. It's basically a, a brake reservoir cover. And then we also make a, a battery cover over there. It's got the Shelby logo on it. Just kind of dress it up a little bit. And then we make an air oil separator that catches oil from going back into the combustion chamber. Uh, we put one of those on there too. All those are vehicle specific. Very, so. very nice. So, um, what, what, um, what is it about this car that you love? It's a Shelby. The rarity of a, of a Shelby. It's a limited production car, and you know it's a step up from a traditional Mustang. So, I've had a few Mustangs in the past, but Shelby is that next run up. You know, it's like a rare, really rare American car. All right, thank you so much. No problem, guys. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you. Sixty Corvette. Any stats? You don't know the stats, but uh, how much horsepower it has, or what year? This, this was a dual quad, two seventy horse, uh, two eighty three. Uh, any any modifications, man? Yes, actually, uh, uh, just a year or two ago, I put a five speed transmission in. Would would have been a four speed, but I put a five speed in. Makes it much nicer traveling down the highway. Very, very, very nice. And well, what do you love? What's the thing that you love the most about the car? Uh, it, it it draws attention wherever you go, from 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 young kids to, to old elderly individuals like myself. <laughs> very, very, very nice. I've had it 35 years now. Wow, what a nice car, right? Yeah, I actually found it in someone in the woods in someone's backyard and uh, completely tore it down to a bare frame and and rebuilt it all. Okay, very, very nice. Thank you, sir. So Thank much. you. I've seen so many pictures of this car, the Corvette. Which model is it? Is it the Z06 or the Grand Sport? Oh, the Grand Sport. Yeah, the yes. really cool one. Um, so how much horsepower does this have? Uh, 800. Wow. So you made modifications? Did you make any modifications? Uh, I added a uh, V1 Pro Charger, methanol injection, and long tube headers. I, I, and those are the three mods I did. I, I tell you, I, I, I honestly, I always have. Viewed this as one of the most special parts. It's so unique. It's very, it's extremely beautiful. Um, what, what, what makes you, um, what, what's the thing about this car that you love so much? Uh, I love that you could just get in it and drive it and feel the handling of it, and the sound, and the, all the new technology that's in it with what GM puts in these Corvettes. They're really amazing. Uh, far superior than any, any older car I had, uh, as far as the computer electronics, the uh, transmission, 8-speed automatics now from the 3-speed years ago. So they came a long way, the Corvette, and uh, we help represent Corvette with it. We do all the mods, me and my wife at home, and uh, it's making about 800 horsepower, and actually it's on a low setting. These things are capable of over a thousand horsepower if I wanted it, but uh, See, you, you don't find it. We raced it uh, in November. 
My next track rental is November 6th. You can come down and see the car run. It'll run pretty good. Maybe do a little wheelie and have a fun yeah, day. Thank you. So thank you so much. I feel like I, 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 I was, <laughs> it was great to do this because I honestly I love this car and thank you. I think it's the, the probably the best American car pretty much of all time. Corvette. Corvette is, it's all, it represents the uh, United States, built in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, my next Corvette, I will do an assembly line uh, thingy where I watch the final stages of the car getting built. This one wasn't a museum delivery, but my next one planned for next year will uh, be a museum delivery. Okay, well thank you. All right. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you guys. So um, did, did you did you make this car? This one, this particular one, I bought from a lady whose husband had passed away. So we bought the car back, but I built these are the cars that we built. So does it have a name? Or is it called? It's called a 1923 T Bucket Roadster. Wow, this is one of the most like, one of the most iconic cars here. Um, so um, how much horsepower? What are the stats? The engine? Or? It's a 350 cubic inch, 350 horsepower. It has a turbo 350 automatic transmission in it and a 48 inch rear. Wow. And what, what do you love about this car? It's just the, you know, being a unique uh, automobile. I mean, it brings you back to the old days a little bit. It's kind of like along the lines of the monster, monster's cars. I, I think this is the most, I think this is one of the coolest cars here. It just, it, it just reminds you of those old fashioned racing buggies. It, it, I right. really love this. It. It's nice. It's like sleek. Thank you so much. This okay. Is one of the most iconic cars here. Thank, right, you. thank you for stopping by. Take care. Is there a name that you gave the car? Is it a coffin it? creeper? Yeah. It's right in the front of the car. Yeah. Um, so, um, how did you build this? Uh, how did you take something? It started out as a 1931 DeSoto four door, and it was chopped seven inches, stretched 24 inches, and a new frame was fabricated. The engine was taken out of a 1955 DeSoto in the rear end. Coffin inside these rollers out of a out of a 1972 Cadillac hearse, so it's actually a rat rod hearse. That's the theme. And um, how much the, the engine? Uh, what engine? It's a 291 Hemi out of a 1955 DeSoto. And the transmission's out of a Chevy. It's, it's got an adapter to, uh, to modern transmission, so I can go on the highway with it and do 70 miles. What inspired you to build this car? Uh, my father asked the same thing, and I told him if he didn't drop me on my head when I was a young kid, I would be normal. It just, I, I like different things. I own 49 cars, oh, and, 49. And, and they can't all be the same in everyday kind of stuff that you can just buy. I like, I like to make different things. I, I don't think anyone has made anything like this, but this is one of the coolest looking cars I've ever seen. Especially that stacks. Yeah. And, uh, and I was fortunate that I had a title for the body from Oregon, so I went to register in Connecticut and I got that inspected because I don't know if it would pass, but it's fun to drive. Well, thank you. This is, this was, this is quite frankly, the most iconic car I've ever seen in my life. Well, I'm glad I brought it here because I'd like to show it off. So thank you. Thank you.